You know that feeling when you're working and working and then suddenly you get into that zone and you're able to work for hours and hours and ideas are just pouring out of your brain and you don't want to stop because you'll lose the chain of thoughts and then have to start all over again? Yep, that's me. But instead, when I look up, five months had gone by. Oh my gosh, what the heck? In 2020, things are moving faster than ever, and we often find ourselves overcommitting and burning out. So today, I'm going to do something different. I'm escaping all the adult responsibilities, clearing out my schedule for a day, and then taking myself out on a proper date. And I hope you guys can come along with me, if I can manage to get out of the front door. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, totally did not just place these plants behind me just because I know I'm filming. So I feel like I make... I feel like I make so many different kinds of videos on my channel. Um, I like to make fashion and dancing videos. But I feel like one thing I haven't really done is talking about how I've been feeling lately. For most of us, we just keep on working and working and working until we cannot do that anymore. And it doesn't matter if it's with work or school or uh, family responsibilities, just anything. I feel like a lot of us don't really know how to take a break. And even when we have free time, we don't know what to do with it just because we've been working so much. I feel like on this channel, sometimes I show you guys how long it takes me to prep, film, and edit all my videos. But I kind of don't talk about how tiring that can be, especially when I'm balancing a full-time job and also part-time work on the side. And that's something that's been hitting me pretty hard lately because I feel like all my free time now has been just editing and just prepping for new videos. I haven't really had any time to rest or reflect on how I've been feeling just because every time when I feel like there is a chunk of free time, I subconsciously just load that up with work just because I know that could be a chance for me to catch up so then I wouldn't be as stressed later on. So especially this week, I've been feeling honestly extremely tired and I really think it's time to just take a break you know, and um, use that time for myself, you know, do all the things that I want to do, but never had enough time to make it happen. So today we're going to do all of those things and I will be taking myself on a date. And I hope you guys can come with me to relax and de-stress. So let's go. Typically, the way my apartment looks reflects my mental state. So when it's messy like this, that just means I've been feeling like a train wreck for a while. Being completely honest with you guys, I like looking at nature, but I hate being outside for too long, especially shriveling away in the cold Chicago air. So I thought this place would be perfect. The conservatory. I know, I'm super weird, but after working for months like a hermit, I needed a more gradual transition before I am ready to tackle the outside world. This place is packed with beautiful flowers and plants and can make me feel like I'm doing something outdoors without actually being outside. Because it was the weekend, this place was packed with people and it took a few tries to film these clips without being in everyone's way. After walking around for a bit, I finally found some peace among the ferns. Really just wish I can be one so I can run away from all my problems. I always see people reading in scenic places like this, so I wanted to give it a try myself, but then quickly realized it was way too humid to read in a greenhouse. My favorite place by far was the flower room, and I honestly don't think the camera was doing it justice. Because there were so many people, I had to switch over to filming with my phone to avoid bumping into people. It was so nice to walk around without having a to-do list in the back of my mind. You might be wondering if this room smelled as nice as it looked, and the answer is no. I sniffed the flowers and they smelled like nothing. Now, this is the perfect place to read the book and it's not too humid. So I resumed my reading here and was able to finish a few chapters. So, I totally did not just change into the same outfit and film this on a different day because I am so bad at speaking in front of a camera and my brain just blacks out whenever I start filming. Hey, let me live and... <laughs> Anyways, let's try this again. 
So I really want to sit down and chat with you guys because I feel like we haven't done this in so long. So I remember this other day I was watching Pride and Prejudice and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know that scene when Lizzie walks out at dawn and then the guy suddenly appears and walks towards her right as the sun is rising up. And that is my favorite scene. And I remember when I was 15, I thought that was the epitome of romance and I should try and find the guy who can treat me like that. So I guess from then on, I was like thirsty for a man in my life and it didn't matter how young I was back then, I was always trying to find that perfect guy in my life. But now as I'm getting older and I've experienced so much more in life, I'm now wondering why is this seen as that perfect resolution to a story and why are we still living by this standard today? I just honestly feel like we're all so different and just having that one standard set for everyone is just really not realistic. Like even though we're not living in the 1800s like that movie, I feel like there is still so much pressure for girls to, you know, try and find the right guy and settle down before she is like too old. And it just makes me feel really sad that people see us as having this clock that's ticking down and one day we're gonna run out of time and we can't find love. I remember when I first turned 20, I felt like that was a huge jump, but now that I'm a little bit older, I feel like that is totally not true. I feel like like I am still young and there is still time. Like There are people in their 60s and 70s who are experiencing love for the first time, so I do think it just it happens differently for everyone. And while I think being in a relationship is really nice, I also think that it's even more important to first develop a relationship with yourself. It is honestly so important for us to get to know ourselves first before we get to know someone else. I remember while dating during that one year of long distance, that was when I made some of the most important decisions of my life just because I was able to spend so much more time with myself. Like looking back, that was the time when one, I quit my job where the environment was extremely toxic and two, I realized that maybe pre-med wasn't exactly for me so I was able to decide to take a break from that and three, I started my YouTube channel and also moved here to Chicago so yeah, so lots of changes and that all happened just because I was able to work on my relationship with myself and I feel like another stigma about being alone is like oh you can't go out to like eat by yourself or no you can't watch a movie by yourself and I think that is totally not true because during that one year I didn't have my boyfriend beside me and all my friends moved away after college I've eaten now so many times by myself and I've watched so many movies alone and that was completely okay and initially I was super self-conscious about like what other people is gonna think of me but honestly like no one really cares so if you want to do that, do it <laughs> And also, if you're just not used to doing that, you don't have to go to a super busy restaurant. You can go to one of the cafes with one of those like really scenic interiors and just treat yourself and grab a nice lunch. Or you can go to the movies during the day when it's less crowded and with fewer people. But honestly, you can do anything and you can just spend time at home and that's totally okay. You know, like have a spot night. Yeah, I just feel like whether if you're single or if you're dating or even if you're married with kids, it's just nice to pause for a moment and just check on yourself and make sure that you are doing okay. But anyways, thanks for listening. I do have a few more things planned for the day, so let's get going. With the sun shining all day, this afternoon actually reached 50 degrees, which is such a miracle for Chicago. So to not waste such a great weather, I decided to force myself outside and tackle something I haven't done in over 10 years. And that is biking. Yes, the last time I actually biked was over 10 years ago. Minus the lookbook video where I tried to get on and then got too scared and gave up. This time though, I wanted to challenge myself and to give it another try. The first few times were pretty rough, but I eventually got more comfortable and look, already biking with one hand. The lake was gorgeous and it was so nice to just stare out into the water. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment so you can appreciate the view. Maybe it was because I went to the conservatory, but I wanted to take some green back. So my last stop of the day was to go to Trader Joe's, and I found a little friend there to take home with me. While I was there, I also did some grocery shopping. 
I mean, who will want to miss out on all the good deals, right? Hey guys! So I just came back from Trader Joe's and while I was there, I got myself a little plant. So I feel like because I just went to the conservatory earlier this morning, after seeing all those plants, I feel like my apartment is kind of lacking in the green area. So I'm hoping that this will add that little bit of green in my apartment. So now for dinner. So usually I get dinner outside where I take food to go, but because today I'm trying to do something special, I feel like I've been trying to cook at home. And also because I suck at cooking, I honestly don't really know how to cook anything besides stir fry. When I was at Trader Joe's, I went ahead and got this pre-made pizza. So all I have to do is pop this in the oven and that's it. I feel like it's kind of cheating a little bit, but by making this at home, it just feels a little bit more fancy. Okay, this is how you know I never cook at home. So I don't have any of the foils, and all I have are these parchment papers. So I think I'm just gonna use this to bake the pizza. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. So yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I love you guys, and I will see y'all next time. Peace. I'll be that thing that makes her heart sing You can be the cream on the Sunday The whip on the finger